There are a lot of uh, catchphrases that uh, I have thought of recently. One of them is know your history and control your dollar. I heard that one from uh, one of the uh, guys that I subscribe to, Mr. Superboy223. Another one is Republicans have no hearts and Democrats have no spines. That one I was made privy to recently. And it, in my mind, appears apropos that that particular phrase be thought of today. The picture you see in front of you is a picture of U.S. Uh, Representative John Conyers, and he has announced his retirement from the House of Representatives. The effective date is uh, not yet known. He is just uh, beginning to formalize his plans to retire. Now, this man is 88 years old, and he has been a member of the House of Representatives for at least, at least 50 years. So in my mind, he has done his duty for the people of uh, Detroit and for the people of this country. Now, all the allegations that have been made against him I ain't buying, and I'm saying I'm not buying only because of the length of time that these accusers have basically uh, worked for John Conyers. Now, if somebody is sexually harassing you, you do your damnedest to get away from them. Now, true fact, you may need a job, but do you need a job that bad that you continue to work for a person who's sexually harassing you for 10 years without looking for employment elsewhere? I think not. One of the women that accused him basically claimed that uh, she didn't say anything because uh, she didn't know who to go to. But this is the same woman who went after two other members of the House of Representatives and got both of them uh, either uh, kicked out or censored. So I'm not buying it from her. But is it possible? Absolutely, it is possible. But this man is 88 years old. And the Democrats basically have walked away from him. And in particular, Nancy Pelosi. Now, the funny thing about it is you have two other members of the House of Representatives, one a Republican and one a Democrat, and I have yet to hear any of them being asked to resign. One of them is Blake Farenholt out of Texas, and the other one is, uh, I, I, mispronouncing his name probably, uh, it starts with a K, uh, Kenya or something like that, out of Nevada. Both of those gentlemen had credible allegations made against them on sexual harassment. Yet, I have yet to hear any Democrat call for them to resign. And that's not even counting Al Franken in the Senate, who has admitted to uh, sexual impropriety, there has been no call asking for him to resign from the Democrats. But now let's take it to the flip side. None of the Republicans have called for Fahrenholtz to uh, resign, and they are now getting in the corner of Judge Roy Moore, who is a pedophile. Let's just call it the way it is. The allegations made against him have been found to be credible, yet the Republicans don't give a damn. The same Republican Party that claims they're the party of family values. Uh, they are the party that is for uh, the little guy, quote unquote. Less involvement of the government in your day-to-day -day lives. But when it comes time to standing up 
for the right thing. These people, and I was searching for a word, and the word I'm searching for escapes me. These people have the nerve to compare Roy Moore to Jesus? Really? These are the same people who declare the sanctity of the womb and being pro-life, but yet once that baby takes its first breath in this world, they damn near do everything they can to make that child's life a living hell unless he is born of privilege. So, again, folks, the Democrats are a bunch of spineless pricks and the Republicans are a bunch of heartless and, in my opinion, false prophets, false teachers. They might as well call themselves atheists because if they believed in God, they would practice the teachings and not defend the indefensible. But that's just me. Representative Conyers, I wish you well. I wish you a good life after you leave the House of Representatives. I hope that you're allowed to leave uh, with your head held up high, that uh, whatever the Ethics Committee uh, decides to do, Hopefully it takes uh, more than a year so that you can walk away again with your head held high. And a word out to people of color. We need to form our own party, folks. We need to amass our own political power because these Republicans and these Democrats don't give a damn about us. All they give a damn about is maintaining their own power bases. We need to form our own power bases to be able to get in there and fight fire with fire. We need to treat all of these political encounters like cage matches, and we need to be the bulldog, the pit bull that clamps our jaws around issues and never lets go. It's going to be a minute before people of color form the absolute majority of the people in this nation. And people who are not, quote unquote, of color are fighting tooth and nail with every trick in the book, both clean and dirty, to try to hang on to power as long as they can. I reference you to all of the voting right laws that are coming into place to restrict voting. I reference you to a gerrymandering of districts to allow uh, various, and I'll say it, white people to remain in power. I reference you to the coming 2020 census, which is being run by a person who has no business on earth uh, being in charge of a census. So that just leads me to believe that uh, those census numbers are going to be rigged. Folks, wake up. Do whatever you got to do to get out there to vote, to get people into office, into positions that can actually help us and not work against us.